I got you stuck. I got you stuck. I got you stuck. I got you stuck. Fuck off the realness. I got you stuck. Got you stuck off. Go, 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 go off the rail. The, the railness. Oh man, welcome to another episode of the Audacity Podcast. Of course, you know I am the man on the street fly, flying solo once again. Oh man, I want to thank everybody that tunes into our other podcast, Two Cigars and a Blunt, and also our um, sports podcast, the Better Than Sex Sports Podcast that goes down every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. Well, y'all see what it says. I serve my country. Did you? And y'all probably wondering, man on the street, where did this come from? Well, I see a lot of people out there criticizing um, um, Kamala Harris, um, VP pick, um, Tim Walsh, and a lot of people criticizing him because of his military record. But some of those people that's criticizing him never served, never served a day in their life. But they got something to say about his military record. Now, J.D. Vance, J.D. Vance did serve. He served in the Marines. And a lot of people are saying that a veteran shouldn't criticize another veteran. Now, my thoughts on that is, my thoughts on that is, this is America. You can criticize anybody. <laughs> That's one thing. You can criticize anybody. You can criticize your own goddamn mother, your father, and because that's your prerogative. That's the country that we live in. But when you criticize somebody, make sure you got all your ducks in a row. Now, Jesse Ventura, you know, he was the governor of uh, Minnesota and he was on CNN and he had this to say about J.D. Vance when he was criticizing um, um, Tim Waltz, go well, Governor Tim Waltz. I think that uh, Vance is doing a disservice to himself and a disservice to the United States Marine Corps. I know a lot of great Marines and Marines show respect and Vance is not showing respect. And let's talk, let's continue. Who does he have respect for? Donald Trump, the biggest draft dodger from the Vietnam War, the rich white boy who bought his way out of it. I come from South Minneapolis. My friends and I didn't get out of it. We either got drafted or we enlisted. I know six or seven or eight of my friends. Donald Trump was your typical rich white boy who didn't have to serve in Vietnam because he could buy his way out of it. And that's who Vance is standing with, this guy who leads from the rear. Oh, man, you heard from Jesse Ventura himself. Yes, the rich white boy. That's what he said. The man on the street says, that. <laughs> don't come after me. I'm just quoting what Jesse Ventura said. He said the rich white boy got out of it. But that's the one you're going to throw your support behind. Now, I don't have an issue with him saying what he's saying, but why go after this man record? Now, let's go. Let's J.D. Vance. J.D. Vance himself served in the Marine Corps for four years, and he also never saw combat. He worked as a combat correspondent in Iraq between August 2005 and February 2006. So the same thing that he's talking about with with uh, um, Tim Walls, he, he never did. He never saw any combat as well. So I don't understand where, where this type of hate is coming from, from J.D. Vance towards Tim Walls. Now, you heard what um, former governor Jesse Ventura says. You know, one veteran shouldn't criticize another veteran. Uh, I don't agree with that. Like I said earlier, this is America. You can criticize whoever you want to criticize. But to join a guy that never served, that got out of serving because he said he had bone spurs, I got an issue with that. Now, I got a lot of people that always say things to veterans, say, hey, man, y'all should have did this, y'all should have did that. Then I always say to them, did you serve? And they say, no. Well, why didn't you? The recruiting office was open just like it was open for me. You know, being a former recruiter, you know, and, and trying to get people to enlist into the Army. I, I mean, I, I tell anybody, that's one of the hardest jobs that you could ever do. Because you're trying to, um, I won't say convince, but you're trying to show people another way of living to, to get ahead. Now, I always tell people when I was a recruiter, I never convinced anybody to join the military. Never. You could never convince anybody to do anything. All I did was reinforce what they already knew that they want to do. And, and that's how I became a successful recruiter. But back to J.D. Vance. Now, <laughs> what he said about um, Tim Wall saying that he got stolen valor. 
Now, I, I, I had it up. Let me see if I can put it up again. I, I know Tim Walls, he retired as a, a, a CSM um, sergeant major from, from, from the National Guard. And he said that Walls dipped out on his, his troops before they got um, sent to Iraq. Now, this is what I got this from the Washington Post. It says that Walls unit deployed for nine months of active duty based in Vicenza, Italy to support Operation Enduring Freedom for the, for the, what, the war in Afghanistan. The troops provided security for Air Force bases in Turkey, Italy, Belgium, and Britain, with some elements deployed to support stability operations in Bosnia, Bosnia and Kosovo. <laughs> so he never went to Iraq. First, he got the country wrong. <laughs> So it was doing Afghanistan war. It wasn't Iraq. So he got that wrong. But still, but still, the man did his 20 years and he decided to retire. I myself, I did 23 years in the army. And yes, yes, like I say, I have my proof right here. My, my, if you got one of these, oh yeah, stand up. Yeah, DD-214. <laughs> right? I got my DD-214 and I also got my retirement orders, uh, uh, my retirement certificate that is, um, hanging up in my man cave. You know, that's the thing. I think that's the only thing I got hang, hanging up here. From, no, I got my some of my recruiting stuff in there as well. But back to this issue with J.D. Vance. Now, I could understand you have disagreement with uh, uh, um, Tim Walls. But to go after his military record, uh, uh, that's, that's, that's a bad show, man. That, that's just bad. I, I just don't understand why would you do something like that. I know Donald Trump is trying to... <laughs> Go after everybody because he's losing in the polls right now. He, he's losing badly too. And you know, it, it's not just me, it's everybody. But to co sign something like that, that shows how desperate JD Vance is because ever since he's been, <laughs> I guess, nominated to be Trump VP, he's been sinking. I mean, like a battleship. I mean, he's sinking so bad, man. Shoot. I don't think the man on the street could help him. But Mr. Jesse Ventura, he even went on and he said something else about this certain situation dealing with J.D. Vance going after Tim Walls. Then why do you think, given all that you've described from the politics, the history, and of course the person who's on the top of the ticket who has been criticized for the bone spurs reason for not going to serve. And I, frankly, I have not served. I am a civilian and have the ultimate reverence for those who have and thank you for our, your service. So why do you think this is the line of attack to choose politically? Obviously, it would offend and alienate voters on one level and also people who have served the armed forces on the other. I don't know. You'd have to ask Mr. Vance that. I don't understand his motive whatsoever, how he could turn against a fellow veteran. You know, there's, there's kind of an unwritten rule amongst us veterans. You don't criticize another veteran. Not every veteran's a knuckle dragger. And I'm not going to define knuckle dragger because if you've been in the service, you'll know what a knuckle dragger is. Yeah, a knuckle dragger. Hey, that's, that's a um, um, combat. We call them combat um, units. Now, I know a lot of people when I was an Army recruiter, First thing they would say is that, hey, I want I don't want to be a, a 18 Bravo, anything dealing with 18. I don't want to be an infantryman. 11 Bravo, that is. 11 Bravo, my bad. Been a while since I've been a goddamn my recruiter. Got, got my MOS there. I missed up. But the 11 series. But I would tell them there are actually people that comes to the recruiting office and that's all they want to do. Oh, they, they come in and say that they want to be um, um, in 11 series. I remember my better buddy. On um, Sergeant Harvey, he um, he had a guy that was a lawyer and he came in and, you know, he had all his credentials and smart as hell. And Harvey told him, hey, man, we could make you, we could put you right into the, you know, the, uh, 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 um, the law, the law branch. And the guy told Harvey, looks straight in his eye and say, if I want to be a lawyer, I stay out here. I want to be an infantry officer. And that's what we did. Harvey put him in as an infantry officer. So you, you you know you know that it is people out here wanting to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right about that, Sean. Um, Trump sank himself when, when he, he asked for help. 
<laughs> you got me laughing, man. <laughs> I don't know about sound effects working, but I'm gonna drop a ball for you. <laughs> I like that, man. But yeah. But you, you never criticize uh, another veteran. But like I say, this is America. You criticize who you want. But the, the attack that they're trying to do on this man, I, I, I don't think it's going to work. It's going to alienate other veterans. Because if you say that about them, what would you say about me and, and the people that I serve with? It's a slap in the face. Especially if you know your history that you got out of serving because you say you had bone spurs you see that that doesn't equate that doesn't the last thing you would probably want to do is hey man don't don't go after this service record just let that go let that go see donald trump he's losing on two fronts he's losing on the front with um, kamala harris talking about her race and now he's losing on the front but he got jd vance talking about walls a uh, 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 military record. He, he's losing. So why would you go that route? You know, I, I know they would probably say they would they'd probably go out his record as governor, but oh man, his record as governor is pretty good. I, I think he um, signed the bill for all the kids to be able to eat, signed cannabis law for grown ups to smoke their weed. Oh, I know conspiracy brother, he'll love that. Just to smoke their weed and, and other laws. So he he he, he has a, I'm not going to say a perfect record, but he has a decent record that he can stand on. But the only thing that you're going to go after him on is his military record where the man served 24 years and he got out the army, um, National Guard, that is, um, honorably. And you're going to go after that because the man dropped his paperwork, what, a year before they deployed to Vicenza, Italy. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, I know that everybody said all right, but his unit actually went to Vicenza. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Now I understand that he said that um, in one of his speeches, he said that he told a weapon during combat, and people are coming out and say that he misspoke. Well, you can't misspoke about something like that. Either you did or you didn't. You know what I'm saying now For that For that For that for that, I'm going to give him the Negro please Because you should have known better Because everything that you said before Is going to come back to get you Just like with J.D. Vance When he taught You know Basically he tell all these women That don't have children That they're cat women And they shouldn't have the same rights As people who Who have kids A family who have kids See that's coming back to bite him in his ass so you got to be careful when you're running for politics and you say things because people are going to find people are going to find what you did and throw it back in your face. But the man on the street is here to tell you this. If you never served in the military, you could criticize people, but watch what you say. Watch what you say. Because until you sign your name on that dotted line, Sometimes you need to just be quiet. No, that, that, that now nah, that's coming from me. Now, I, I never I never been in combat. I'd be the first one to tell anybody. I did 23 years in the military, never been in combat. The only year that I've been outside of the United States was one year in Korea. That's it. The other 22 years of my military service I did here in the United States. Now, can I, do, do, can I say that my job was easy? Uh, I say it is because the type of job that I do. But it's a job that the Army said that they needed me to do. Just like infantry, uh, 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 communications, uh, 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 artillery, you, uh, cook, you name it. And it all fits together like a puzzle. We all work together to ensure that we complete the mission 
that we have to do. And Mr. Jesse Ventura said that himself for doing that. And I hope all veterans feel like I do about it. You don't criticize another veteran and how they served, whether they're a cook or whatever they do, they all have a job to do. And if you're going to be successful, everybody has to do their job and pitch in to be successful. And that is exactly what it boils down to. And that's my issue with J.D. Vance. You know, he, he could have went another route, but the route that he went is a no go. You know, you serve you serve this great nation of ours uh, uh, um, to the best of your ability. And it doesn't matter what job you have, because, like I said earlier, it all fits together like a puzzle. Without medical, without dental, without artillery, without infantrymen, without communication, if one part fail, the whole mission would fail. And J.D. Vance should know that. But yet he's trying to appease <laughs> somebody on one of my on one of my um, um, posts. They call him Connell, 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 like con man. He's trying to appease Connell. I call him, you know, Connell Drump, you know, because he's dumb as hell. But he's trying to appease Connell, Connell Trump, and he's going about it the wrong way. He is. He is going about it the wrong way. Let me see what my man Sean says. Sir more than Trump, and he probably could have done this. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yes, yes. Mr. Boone Spurs himself is talking about somebody in military service. <laughs> And you heard what Jesse Ventura said, you know, because Donald Trump, Connell Trump had money. He got out of it. Come on, man. So. J.D. Vance, get another line of attack. Get another line of attack if you want to go after the person that may be the next vice president of the United States. You should have known better. And that's one thing I agree with Jesse Ventura. You should have known better than going after uh, um, Tim Walsh the way that you did, especially about his military record, especially knowing that you served in a unit that uh, uh, corresponded to unit that didn't see the front line. You was working in a nice AC office, writing out uh, um, news reports about what happened actually on the line, on the front line. You see, you, you got to be careful because how they say when um, one person throws a, a stone, you got 10 people throwing 10 stones back. And that's the crazy part that, that you have to worry about. Now, it's not only J.D. Vance. I, I was reading something here. I'm going to read it. There's this guy. He was talking about um, uh, um, Tim Walsh and his name is what's his name? Jensen. He said that he avoided the Vietnam era draft. And say the governor departed from God fits what a pattern and is just one of the long time instances with Tim Walsh to lead and ran from his duty. Now, this dude was talking mad ish. I mean, he was talking mad ish about this guy. Right. But I'm talking about Tim Walsh, that is. Right. And this, 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 I'm going to tell you what happened to him. He said when the news reporter asked him, this dude Jensen. They asked him about his service. Jensen said his draft number in the early 1973 was 27. Jensen said he was planning to report for his physical after graduating from high school that May. But after a ceasefire was negotiated, the draft was discontinued. So Jensen wasn't required to serve and he enrolled at the University of Minnesota in the fall of 1973. So this person criticizing <laughs> Tim Walsh for serving is a person that was supposed to go <laughs> to Vietnam. But since they signed the ceasefire, he decided not to join the military. Make that make sense to me. You criticizing somebody, even though they signed the uh, uh, um, ceasefire, you still could have went in the military. You still could have did your time. The people that's criticizing people that serve their country need to shut the F up. And for that, y'all get the goddamn Negro, please. I hate people that stands around and talk about what the military should do. And they never, ever, ever, ever 
thought about doing anything for their country. They only think about themselves. Now, another veteran criticizes me. Hey, go right ahead. That's why I say, you know, that's the only thing I disagree with um, um, Justin Ventura about, you know, the criticizing. You can criticize me. If you sign on the dotted line, if you raise your right hand and you say that oath, you know, that you will defend this country. Hey, go right ahead. You, you do what you want to do. But if you never did, shut the fuck up. And that's coming from the man on the street right there. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear a word come out your goddamn mouth. And I'm probably saying that for a lot of goddamn veterans. I had a, a first cousin died in Afghanistan. Rest in peace to David Tom. He paid the ultimate price for this country. The ultimate price. He lost his life. And to hear people like J.D. Vance and to hear people like Mr. Bone Spurs himself, it's a slap in the damn face of every soldier, every woman, every Navy man, every Air Force man, every Marine in the goddamn country. It's a slap in the goddamn face. And that just shows you how these two operate. And, and it kills me when I hear a lot of veterans that actually are, are co-sign these goddamn clowns. They co-sign these clowns. Especially Mr. Bone Spurs himself. He could never do no wrong. I'm going to say this to the day I die, and I say this my last uh, my life. Donald Trump is out for himself and himself only. He's out for him and his family. Hey, <laughs> the proof is in the pudding. I saw something, some dude, some, some guy, he, he posted something about um, the Obamas. And he said eight years, and they say that they got a lot of money for being in the White House. And, and, and basically had like a million dollars here, four million here, and he had some pictures. <laughs> but I didn't see him put up there about uh, what Jared Kushner, Donald Trump uh, um, son-in-law, got over what, $5 billion from the Iraqis? <laughs> like I say, make it make sense. But back to J.D. Vance. This guy is trying to appease to uh, a, a certain demographic, but that demographic is not hearing him. I hate to say that they're not hearing him at all because most of those demographics that he's trying to appease to, they are veterans and they're taking that as a slap in the face. So J.D. Vance, take another route, baby. Go another route. The man on the street, if you need help, call the man on the street. Hey, I'll help you out. You know, I, I, but I got to go to an, uh, under the alias, though. I can't be the man on the street. I, I'm be on the alias. But I would tell you, man, that that's not working. And like I said last week, who advises these people with this nonsense that they're trying to spill to the American people? It just doesn't make sense. But that's how the man on the man on the street feels. Let me know in the comments how y'all think this is going to turn out. Was it a good was it good that J.D. Vance uh, went after uh, um, Tim Walls or was it a bad a bad, bad move on the Trump <laughs> on the Trump ticket to do so especially knowing that Trump never served a day in his life and with that ladies and gentlemen the man on the street is out I got you stuck. I got you stuck. I got you stuck. Off the realness.